it's interesting. Uh, some people play golf, some people go racing. So, you, you know, this is my madness, and I stick with it. I'm happy to stick with it. Uh, I met it all my life. Uh, it's something that you grow up with, and you can't develop it if you haven't got an interest in it. You won't create it. You might. People do go into it, and very soon fade away again. If you're in it, you're in it. If you're not, you're not. It's as simple as that. Well, I have many jobs at the moment. I'm running around from one end to the town to the other, organising things. But officially, I suppose I'm the chairman of the committee of the organising committee. And uh, we're having a vintage rally tomorrow, which goes from the Manila Hotel here down to Mount Juliet. And we're having a midday break there and coming back through Carrick and Shore and back, a scenic route back into Clonmel and hopefully we'll be here at 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. So we will then have a short break, a rest and uh, we'll have mass at half eight tomorrow night and we're having a dinner dance at a quarter past nine. And we're up again the next day on Sunday morning. We're having a static display over in Powerstone Park. So we hope to have upwards of 80 to over 80 cars in tomorrow's event and we could have uh, anything from three or four hundred cars plus tractors steam engines and other novelties it's a family day in Parstown Park on Sunday. The club was founded last year and this is our first vintage rally we did have a static display last year already and it was quite successful we raised over 12,000 on that occasion, which we gave to three charities, the Hospice and Down Syndrome and a place for you here in Clonmel, which is a building that has been renovated for the youth and the elderly. And uh, it's, we're helping it again this year, but uh, together with Cancer Care and MS, they're the charities this year. We also did a couple of runs during the year for Vincent de Paul and Meals and Wheels. So we're basically a club which raises money for charity. We don't keep money ourselves. We were fortunate enough now that um, Barnes Bakery in Capaquin were celebrating uh, their 125th anniversary and they asked us if we could put on a show of cars dating from periods during those 20, 125 years. Well, naturally, we only started about 1940s and the 40s and we had a, a van similar to what they had when they were growing their business and we were very happy to take it out and display it and there again they were kind enough to give us 500 quid towards our charity so we raised it that way too. We started up as you know just uh, 12 months ago and we formed the club and the membership is 20 euro per person and uh, a family and, and membership would be 30 euro. Now we haven't expanded the membership that much yet. We do have about 38 members at the moment. It's not restricted to Clamell people only. We have members from Wexford, from Waterford, from Cork, some in Dublin, Blessington. We have them all over. It is by and Dennis, of course, we have a few from there. Uh, is enthusiasts. We are interested in having our friends and enthusiasts involved. Uh, tomorrow there will be over 80 cars. With those, our friends from other parts come to us. We have to go and support them. It's just, uh, one club supports another. Uh, the route will take us from here up the main road to Callan on the Kilkenny Road. We turn uh, to the right of Callan and we go across through Kells, Stonyford and into Mount Juliet. As I said, we'll have a midday break there and we'll come out into Thomastown and back down through Kilmagany and uh, into Caricature and back up to Clonmel on the, from, on the main Waterford Road and be back here at 5 o'clock hopefully. Well, this year now we're having a, a 1906 Burley, which is a quite a rare car. It's the oldest car into tomorrow. And it's, we have all kinds of cars in after that. We have cars in the uh, 
1914 Feet, 1910 Star, 1909 Mosley, Minerva. There are makes that you don't hear of today. Now, Fiat are still there today, but Wolseley's, Minerva's, earliest, all those are things of the past. And do we continue on up then to the Ford Cortina, the Ford, uh, and Austin, Morris, Hillman, all those cars, they'll be all participating tomorrow. The morning trip uh, is about 31 miles, and we, our age group and our cars, we still tend to talk in miles. Uh, back I think is 35. So it's only 66, 67 miles altogether. But our speeds now will be much slower than, than the normal speed of the day. It'll be 35, 40 miles an hour. That's it. where the health and safety issue comes in. 
but we'd be hoping that our cars and our tractors will be quite okay. <laughs> from Ennis in County Clare. I'm 15. I was 14 when I bought the tractor. I just had a fancy for tractors. So. A 1966 Massey Ferguson 135. I'm related to farmers and that, and I like farming, so it was kind of, I'm always out in the country farming and that, so I had an interest through that. So. I'm more tractors than cars. I bought it as a, like a project, so you'd learn a bit from it messing around with it. It was an experience. Just to mess away with it and see engines and stuff and how they were working and all that. That was the one reason behind buying it. I, I bought this car in pretty much the condition that it's in. I did some mechanical work to it okay. But all in all, it's, uh, it's as you see it here. I, I took part in the run yesterday, which was a, a lovely run from here to uh, Mount Juliet. And uh, I did it in a 1906 uh, Berlier. Berlier was made in Lyon in France. They were um, very much in competition with Mercedes at that time. And it was the kind of the premier make, yeah. French make at, at that time. And it's um, uh, an, open, an open drive limousine car from 1906 and it's a 40 horsepower chain drive car so it's great to be involved uh, in this event in, in view of the fact that all the proceeds uh, benefit such worthwhile charities so it's lovely to be involved in that uh, point of view and uh, great credit to the people involved I mean they put a tremendous amount of work and a tremendous amount of effort into, uh, into making this event what it is I mean events like this don't, don't, don't just happen they take an awful lot of work and an awful lot of planning and an awful lot of effort to make them a success. And there's great credit due to the organisers and the fact that the, the charities benefit in, our, in the difficult times that we have. I mean, events like this are very necessary to help the charities out. So I'm very pleased to have been associated with it and to be able to support it. I, I have it since 1958. It was very original. It was painted about 25 years ago and that's all it was ever done. So, uh, in 1958, I gave £25. <laughs> but I, I got into trouble with my father because he asked me where did I get the £25 <laughs> in '58. I had the car before I had now. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, that's my Alvis there. Uh, I purchased it two years ago in the UK. Um, it's a car I haven't used that much until this year. I'm beginning to use it now. Um, I've had had it repainted and rewired since I purchased it. Um, it's I, I think it's an excellent condition and it's it's a very very nice car to drive. And this other one, which is down here, it's a 1970 MGB Roadster. Um, I purchased that, believe it or not. 23 years ago. Uh, it was in very bad condition when I got it. Um, I purchased it, I saw it advertised in Dublin on the evening press, which is no longer available. The, the car is a Chalmers uh, 30. It's uh, 1912. It's an American car and it is from Detroit. Now they would have been on quite an expensive car in America at the time, equivalent maybe of more than Rolls Royce, only if the Vanderbilts and that, those sort of families would own them. They were a tough car, they would go over the roads and ro ro railways, just with bit over bits of timber. They were, um, we bought this car about 19, 2003 and we have it, we've had great fun with it. We bought it in Birmingham in England and we brought it home to Ireland and we've had great fun with this. My husband went over to buy a car, a, well an Edwardian car, but when he saw the car they went to see in Birmingham, it wasn't up to scratch, so somebody suggested he should go down to this other small bone and have a look there and see, and they came, 
they spotted this and this is what she decided to buy. A little bit more expensive than we expected, but it was worth it. Beautiful. The minute we saw this car, it was all superb. And it was just as it is finished to the last. It is a beautiful car. Well, we come from the charity place for you, and we're one of the beneficiaries of the vintage rally. So we, we came here at half seven this morning, and we've been making sandwiches all morning, a variety of sandwiches, and most of the um, ingredients of the sandwiches have been pledged or donated by local, local businesses. I'm part of the charity as well, and we did the same thing last year, so we do the refreshments, and uh, I suppose it's our way of just kind of participating in the sport. Should some uh, enthusiast wish to sell his car, he'll have a captive audience there on the day and he will be able to, or they can display the car. They may sell it, they may not, there's nothing lost if they don't. Uh, but it also gets the word around that the car is for sale or they might be on the right. So it's a facility really for our members. <laughs> There's a specific car being raffled. Uh, it's a 1968 Triumph Herald, and uh, <coughs> we have uh, been selling tickets for the leading up to this event, and we've been selling tickets for the last uh, maybe two months or so. One of our members who pretty much specialises in selling tickets, has sold over 2,000 euros worth of tickets and tickets are only a fiver each so you can know how he's been going. Uh, the rest of us aren't quite so good but we have managed to bring in uh, 5,000 more between us. Uh, but like We will realise over 7,000 in ticket sales. Uh, the stories of the birthday cake is um, in another few weeks time We'll be celebrating, the club will be celebrating its first birthday. And we mentioned that to Mr. Mr. Barn, where was the bakery that we took our cars down to. And uh, when she heard that, she said, oh, maybe I can do some little little thing for you or whatever. So she said, she'd do a cake. So we, we said, very well. So hopefully, um, on our first birthday, we will cut this lovely, beautiful cake and um, celebrate our first birthday in style. his car 
as the fellow who was able to buy the, uh, the big one. So it covers all people. Thank you.